This is a, a very big deal, a huge deal, a breakthrough uh, as far as Cosby's appeals are concerned. Uh, and in my reading of the case, and I just want to be clear, we just got it. The entire opinion runs over 70 pages. We're still digesting it here in the newsroom, but it would appear to set him free. So he'll be released from prison uh, and it would appear to accept some of the appeals that have been winding through the courts uh, for many years now. And that his defense uh, lawyers had often made that there were aspects of the trial that they argued were unusual, uh, that brought in information and allegations that were not directly germane or that is to say relevant um, to that charges that he were convicted of. Uh, and at the time, originally, that was considered uh, OK. That was allowed by the judges based on uh, different doctrines, including the similarity between those other allegations uh, and the charges he was convicted of. Here you have the Supreme Court uh, saying no otherwise. And I think the big question um, the viewers may have is, is this over? Is this the end? It would appear it would appear uh, to be the end because this is the highest court in the state. Now, he had served two years. He was up for parole in May, and they denied parole in May. Uh, it was a 10-year sentence. And according to some of the reporting here from Philadelphia, from the AP that I'm seeing, I know you, you haven't had a chance to go through this, and neither have I, uh, that part of this uh, overturning of the conviction was based on a prior agreement he had with prosecutors which said that he could not have even been charged in the case. And recall that this was his second trial after a mistrial. So that conviction came after uh, you know, the second attempt to convict him by the prosecutors. Exactly. And these appeals have been watching.